Hi, I'm Dan with Family White TV, and I'm back in my own theater, and that means that I can do home theater gaming. Now, what I quickly realized when I got back into my theater is that the keyboard that I had for my theater, which is a nice keyboard for theater because it's got the keyboard and mouse all built in, but when you're trying to play games with complex settings like Star Citizen, which is what I like to play, well, it can get a little bit hard to see the keyboard when you're trying to play in the dark. And so I got interested in keyboards that had built-in lighting. Now, what I wanted was not a keyboard that just had a simple backlight for the entire keyboard, but I wanted to have different lighting for different key combinations that I use for certain parts of the game. And so what I first got was the Razer Ornata Chroma keyboard. This is the one that I got locally at the Walmart because it was available and it's what they had, and it does have per-key lighting options. But I was dissatisfied with how uh, muddled the lights look, and so I started researching a little bit and decided I'd go ahead and see about upgrading to a Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. And, oh, I messed the video up already. I see, it says, remove wrapper before display. So, I'll go ahead and get this keyboard out, we're going to get it set up, and we're going to look at this specifically from a lighting perspective, from a lighting from home theater gaming, gaming in a dark room, where we want to be able to see specific keys and locate them quickly based on not only the letter that's on the key, but the color that you have surrounding it. Okay, so time for a quick unboxing. Razer Chroma keycap keychain included. I don't speak that. Remove to demo. This is the, uh, the yellow. Okay, so here's the new keyboard here. Uh, a couple other features that this one had that also made me want to get it is that it also has a built-in extra USB port, which is right there, along with a uh, headphone port also. And there's a headphone extension right here, and I've already gotten an extension cord to go all the way back to my PC. That way I can wear my headphones at night without having to stretch the little coily cord all the way back to the computer and put a lot of stress on it. But in comparison here, this one is a bit bigger than this one uh, as far as weight. Let's see that one's at. This one is a bit heftier. Okay, so upon plugging the keyboard in, this is the screen that you are automatically greeted with. Now, I've already had the software installed because of the Ornata, so let's just go ahead and update real quick. Alright, here we go. So it is detecting both keyboards. So let's first do a uh, just a simple home theater mode, which I already have for the uh, Ornata going on right now. So let's just do that with the Black Widow real quick. The yeah, software is fairly easy to use. So we'll go to Lighting, Chroma Studio. We'll highlight the whole board right here. We're just going to do a white keycap and we're going to make it uh, nice and low lighting because in a home theater you don't need it to be super bright and burning a hole in the back of your retina. Alright, so right now they are actually quite dim. Let's see how dim they can go without being completely off here. So it won't quite go down to one. Alright, so it looks like whereas the Ornata needs a 2, really a 3, in order to be able to see all the keys, the uh, Black Widow will work uh, just fine on a 1. Now, it is really super dim right now. Uh, you can't quite see it on the camera, but I can see it uh, well enough to be able to type on it in a home theater setting. So if I was just using this for home theater PC. Now, of course, the disadvantage of using this keyboard as strictly a home theater key PC keyboard is that uh, you also need a mouse. So that's where you might want to have a keyboard that has the mouse pad integrated. 
But now let's go ahead and put it into the uh, setup that I had while I was playing Star Citizen and compare how they uh, look together and how well defined the colors really are. All right, so already I got I got everything all programmed up here. And already I can tell that I like the uh, the Black Widow one up here much better. Now this one down here, the Ornata, it is a mechanical membrane keyboard, and the way this one works is the LEDs are actually underneath the membrane, and so what happens is the light kind of gets diffused a little bit. So even though the LED is under each key, the lighting tends to get muddled and it's not very well defined, and and you can get things where it's like this key here is supposed to be blue, but because it's combining with some other colors around it, it's kind of turning into this purplish kind of color whereas up here with the exact same settings it's it's blue oh i missed one let's fix that real quick that is supposed to be purple right there oh whoops i see what's going on here right this one no that is supposed to be So there we go, that is the purple I wanted, this D key up here is the blue that I want, whereas this one, it's just kind of, it's nondescript and undefined, and, and you can see here with the W, it's bleeding over to the E key here, but here it's not even illuminated at all, we got a nice clear W here. All the keys are the colors, are clearly the colors that I want them to be, and they're not other colors. Like uh, over here where I'm not using these two keys, they're kind of illuminated a little bit, over here it's not it's much more well defined so definitely the black widow chroma implementation where the led is actually underneath the keycap itself rather than behind the membrane is a much better implementation from terms in terms of making sure that your uh, keys are very well defined nice and sharply defined nice high contrast if you want to have individual keys be different colors on a per key basis and looking under the keycap here, now we can see this is the uh, Black Widow. Underneath the key, there is an LED, and it is uh, a little bit elevated, but right underneath where the key is at. Whereas with the Ornata, looking underneath the keycap, it is actually, there's a membrane down here, and the LED itself is underneath the membrane, and so that's what causes all the color bleed over to the adjacent keys. So there it is. Are you paying attention? Razer Ornata Chroma and the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. In my opinion, the V2 is definitely better, definitely worth the uh, 30 extra dollars that you pay for it, and of course, depending on where you're getting it and what time and all that. But uh, for me, this one's definitely the better keyboard because it has a much more well defined layout. It has the uh, extra USB port and the headphone out jack. And yeah, whereas this one, uh, well, it's it's a keyboard, it has backlit, it has per key lighting, but it's not as well defined as I would uh, prefer for a keyboard that does have per key backlighting. So there it is. Hope this review was helpful for those of you who are interested in per key backlighting. And uh, check out some of my other videos that you might see around here somewhere if you're interested. Uh, and uh, if you, this was helpful, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.